I'm outside the College of Communication where you can see behind me they're still clearing the tracks in hopes to get the T fully restored. There's people on the T working to help move this process along. With all of this commuter chaos, I thought I'd find the fastest route for students to get from West Campus to the College of Communication. I'm down here at West Campus. We're going to walk our way up to the College of Communication to see how long it takes. It is 8.54 now. Let's go. There's a lot of slush on the ground. So we're at Essex Street now. Um, this is where a lot of traffic comes. So you have to be careful when you're walking past Essex Street. It's starting to get a little bit colder out here. But we're going to keep going. We finally made it. Uh, the time is now 9.14. So we're across the street from the College of Communication. So this bus stop here that we're waiting on for about five minutes. It's just a huge amount of snow. My feet are freezing. College of Communications. It is 9.48. It took us about 12 minutes to take the bus from West Campus to College So it seems that the fastest route was the 57. It took me only 12 minutes on the bus. Walking took me about 25 minutes, and the one time that I saw the BU shuttle, it passed me. But the good news is that the C line is fully restored. The D line is running on limited service. The B and E line are also running on limited service, but only underground. BU TV News at Noon reporter Alex Hirsch went out to find how people are handling all of these delays. The snow is never ending here in Boston. The MBTA has announced that the T will not be fully operational for at least another 30 days. City workers are clearing off the railway tracks to try and get the T back to running at 100%. With many delays expected, now people face a month-long worry of getting to work on time. I, I went late yesterday and I'm going to get late today too. I tried to take the B line, didn't happen, and I just had to, you know, walk all over these huge snow banks. It's just kind of perilous out there, and I can see how if someone's like a little less agile than myself, they might have a hard time. With the MBTA and buses being delayed or cancels, workers are not the only people that have had wrenches thrown into their schedules. Many students have had to miss classes because of the MBTA delays and are wondering if their monthly and semester passes will be refunded at all. Students pay as much as $200 a semester for these tea passes, but are students getting what they pay for? I haven't used the tea at all this month in February, so I feel like, am I going to get reimbursed for that month? Uh, at this point, don't expect a lot from the MBTA just because the organization is really, it's crazy right now, but I mean, I think there should be some kind of a refund, but like I said, I'm not waiting around for it. The MBTA has yet to release a statement on okay. reimbursements, but when they do, they will certainly be getting a lot of phone calls. With the BU News Service, I'm Alex Hirsch. And for those of you trying to take an Uber to campus, keep in mind that the traffic is heavy as well as the surge. I took an Uber this morning from Brighton to the College of Communications. It only takes about 15 minutes, usually costs about $12. 25 minutes into the ride and I was only at the BU Bridge. So I decided to get out and walk the rest of the way. I ended up being a half an hour late and the Uber itself cost me about $40. So just keep that in mind. For BU TV News at noon, I'm Kate.